You know, I talk a lot about how to unfuck yourself, but then what? Going from a deep suffering state to just normal is almost an ecstatic experience, if you know you know. But after a while, we acclimate to normality. We get used to it and bored and we want more. We don't want to feel normal. We want to feel fucking good all the time. So we start doing dumb shit again. You know what I'm talking about? Which leads us back into the cycle of suffering. So, you know, try not to be a dumbass. If you've unfucked yourself to some degree and eventually achieved homeostasis and are now in kind of an acclimated, bored, what the fuck now limbo, I got you. Being bound by our thought plane limits our experience of reality, of actual reality, and keeps us in the cycle of suffering. Being bound by other people's thought plane is exponentially worse because now you're taking on their suffering too. You are not your fucking thoughts. You are the light that shines behind a strip of ever-changing thought film that projects your experience onto the collapsing quantum movie screen of reality. Whether we're fucked or bored, we tend to look outside of ourselves for answers. And we all now have these dangerous little rectangular portals in our pockets to do so, which retards our ability to think for ourselves. Everyone in the rectangular glass portal wants you to believe that their way is the way. And oh yeah, you need to pay, by the way. You notice like diet ads are often laced with fear tactics. What are the six foods that are fucking you up? And you're like, oh shit, am I fucking my shit up? I better give them some money. You need this diet. You should do my yoga. You should do my exercise. You should buy my course. You should meditate like me. You should buy my whirly gig. Show me the money first though. It's fine. People got to eat and maybe you should do some of that shit. Exercise, yoga, meditation. It's very fucking good shit. But first realize that you have the innate ability to figure your own shit out without pressure or fear or desire implanted to cajole you into believing that someone else's shit can fix you. Only you can fix you. Here's how. You're not actually fucking broken. You're welcome. No charge. Being briefly bound such as we are to material existence is a washing machine of ups and downs. A cyclical, never-ending washing process. So maybe lighten the fuck up. And figure it the fuck out. Whether by reasoning, intuition, listening to your gut, there are neurons down there, dreams, synchronicities, or trial and error. If the solution you're looking at is expensive or complex, be warned. More often than not, the solution is natural, simple, doable, and free to implement, but also hard because it's about letting go. Everyone's path is absolutely fucking lutely unique. We have to find our own way, but I'll tell you something you can try to determine what to do to help you to find your own way and to further be able to expand and even peek behind the curtain of so-called reality. And by the way, if peeking is not your jam, like you don't want to know what the hell's behind that curtain, that's okay. This is for folks who are bored with normality and inexplicably feel the aspiration to expand their consciousness, thereby transcending their own cycle of suffering and bullshit. Anyway, here it is. It's this. Lower your density. And what do I mean by density? I mean any part of you that is dense, whether it be your meat tractor, your thoughts, your emotional state, or circumstances and subsequent behaviors. Density anchors us to physical reality and its apparent laws. When you contemplate the phrase, lower my density, you should feel that shit in your gut. It should ignite the space behind the thought plane. Do you feel it? Don't worry, your mind can catch up later. Our thought plane, which we think is oh so smart, is actually the dumbest part of us, except for our dicks. Dicks do really dumb shit. So if you want to do a bit of rebelling against matter to uncover your vibratory nature and start seeing things with a more expanded ability to perceive, lower your density. It means you have to fucking pay attention first to your meat tractor. Does eating a certain kind of thing make you more distractedly aware of your body? Like, oh shit, I'm full, I'm drowsy, I'm uncontrollably flatulent. You get the fucking idea. Does a certain way of thinking light off a daisy chain of bullshit narratives that exponentially perpetuate into fractal tangents and you become trapped in a quagmire of thinking? Are you unwilling to look at your own shit and own it and therefore are constantly defensive and pissed off at other motherfuckers for lighting up your own buried bullshit? Or are in a loop of self-deprecation or feeling sorry for yourself and are drowning in an emotional sea? Reduce your density. It's not woo-woo to say that you are energy. You and the entire universe are mostly made of emptiness and a wee bit of energy. It's for fucking realsies. Your experience of existence is more about energy and frequency and awareness than you know. It's because you're dense. You are a tiny chunk of meat arising from and dissolving back into a cosmic, wakeful, energetic stew. Reduce your density. It just means lessen the things that bind you and distract you from who you really are behind matter and your own thought plane. A lot of folks like to say raise your vibration, which makes other folks think they gotta go do something, like they gotta increase. It's a pressure to be more because of the implication that they're not enough. And oftentimes doing that shit increases an angsty sort of density of done without proper understanding. 
Just reduce your density and the reality stew starts becoming clear broth all on its own. That's what's up behind all the bullshit, the clear broth of an all pervasive consciousness. This broth or this thing, and people always want to fucking name it, you know, God, the Tao, whatever. Maybe don't fucking name it because you separate yourself from it by encapsulating it in a narrative. And it is not an it. It is everything. It is nothing. It is your cognizant middle. But don't think about it. You'll fuck it up. It is our fundamental experience of awareness of existence, period. Religion tries to claim it for itself. Science wants to put it into a discernible box of understanding. Atheism wants to disprove or negate it. It doesn't give a shit what you think. It is the thinker. But we do like our labels and clubs. Denying it is like denying that you yourself exist. The ability to deny a thing being proof of one's own existence. Something that doesn't exist can't say shit about non-existence. Hello? It's like a way of denying the existence of the sea. But I get it because dogma can be a huge fucking turnoff. Rigid beliefs about reality and existence are a density unto themselves, disguised as methods of understanding. Look, there is indeed an unnameable, vast, ineffable, wakeful, effulgent sort of emptiness that permeates all things, that is all things, but don't make it a god or a belief or a narrative or an equation. It's best to be comfortable with not knowing, thus you reduce the density of thinking and belief in order to experience what's actually up. It is the lucid string that is strung through the temporal beads of humanity on the necklace of collective consciousness. Lowering your density takes your identification away from the bead and more towards the string. I'm purposely being vague about density lowering methodology because learning how to discover for yourself how to lower your density and what that actually means is part of the process of your expansion. You don't need to solely rely on other motherfuckers to tell you what to do all the time, but also everyone and everything is a clue. Tap into the undiluted signal of existence you already are, constantly. Thought and density just create delusion, that's all. Try starting with simple physical shit, like what you eat, how you move. Is your physicality and its systems becoming more dense, as in binding your attention as a result of what you do or don't do? Is thinking you need to do something to be better, making the insecure feeling I'm not enough more dense? Fuck that shit. Insecurity separates you from the whole but so does being a megalomaniac, so maybe stay in the middle. If you can sort all the physical shit out so you're not constantly bound to it by pain or worry or disappointment or embarrassment or whatever the fuck, then you can maybe start seeing that reality is talking to you. And yeah, I know mental issues and chronic pain is a thing. Believe me, I fucking know it. But we all have our individual lessons to sort out. And saying I can't because is a commandment to every cell in your body to make your pain and suffering more dense. But do what you want. I'm not the fucking boss of you or your pain. You are. You don't need to rely on Googling shit, which, by the way, is now an AI synopsis at the top of your results that you've Googled, thereby determining how humans think. Hello? Nor do you need to rely on other meaty motherfuckers to tell you what to do. Reality is awake for fuck's sake. You just need to pay attention. Not think about pay attention. There is a distinction. Lower your physical density a bit and your newly freed up attention will start noticing the way reality is constantly supporting and trying to speak to your dense deaf ass to lower the density of the rest of your shit to be more in harmony with the unfolding nature of conscious existence. It doesn't speak in words, it speaks in synchronicities and inspirations. It's the oh so quiet whisper of knowing that is drowned out by your clunky ass thoughts and doubts and rigid paradigms. So maybe start quieting the waves of thought and start paying attention to the ocean of consciousness in whatever way suits you and actually works. But remember, the first order of business is always unfucking yourself. And once accomplished, lowering your density will not only keep you from being sucked back into being totally fucked, it will expand your experience of existence in unimaginable ways. It's not about collecting or gathering or feeling good all the damn time. It's about letting go. And letting go is fucking free. You get to be the center of an entire universe for a minute, the lead actor in your own quantum movie, an aperture for the entire cosmos to peek through so that a singularity can experience individuality as you experiencing only itself. There are no fucking rules. You get to do you, boo. Toodaloo.